Welcome back to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today we got 2019 Vauxhall Vivaro 1.5 engine. I think I already plugged in the computer, but customer told there is a add blue sign on, engine management light on, uh, and there was a, I think, countdown mileage. I'm going to start the car and have a look what's going on there. Right. Yeah, you can see at blue sign flashing and spanner light on and this side engine management light on and engine fault need repair and also there is a countdown mileage i saw something 500 miles also you can see it's saying 500 miles start impossible anyway yeah we know the problem now right i'm going with the computer and the have a look what's going on there i can see Customer already top up 5 litre and also top up another, this is the 10 litre, maybe 5, 6 litres. I feeling altogether he top up maybe 11 litres because of that I am not bothered to check the at blue level. I knew <laughs> he done the thingy then because of that I am not too much worry see and the, the other thing this is the Vauxhall but if I check the Vauxhall data see it's failed sometime I feeling I need to go with Peugeot might be I'm going with the Peugeot and have a look what's going on because badge Vauxhall Engine Peugeot Citroen. When I go with the Peugeot, they got automatically these details. Sometime I had to go a little bit deep and find out what's going on there because badge Vauxhall engine. Peugeot Citroen. Okay, there is a two faulty cords. I had to wait until scan complete. Right, we'll see what's going on on the engine management. Damage to the double dumping flywheel. Deep relation NOx effectiveness, right? I think P20EE, the main fault record for the, this car. Other one, I'm not going to too much worry for the dump pin flywheel. Yeah, I'm going to the special function. Before that, I'm going to take again the fault records. Next step, I'm going to switch off the engine, just ignition on and switch off aircon. Otherwise, ending with flat battery. I'm going to reset this one and have a look what's going on. Yep, all messages cleared. Again, read the faulty code, no DTC. Switch off the car. And I'm going to start the car and have a look. Right, still at blue light flashing and 500 miles still there and the spanner light there. Right, okay. Okay, I'm going to ignition off and ignition on. 
go back and try to read the faulty codes again no faulty codes right uh, special function service action work on a emission oh fail right okay never mind basically this one not allowed to do anything because i feeling voxel and perjo have a small problem right again i'm going back 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 right clear all dtc again high speed scan and try to clear all dtc could be i'll switch off that's why the problem okay i'm going to try to clear faulty codes even not allowed to me do anything right i'm going to exit this menu yes okay then i'm trying to find with the citron what's going on right now i'm going to try this one allowed to delete yes at least it's reading <laughs> communicating yeah right all nice and clear still at blue sign flashing I'm going to try again Voxel oh, Opal yeah, Voxel here Forge software test okay Hmm. Yeah, something happen look like uh, you can see now the light disappeared right 
ya press ok <coughs> Right, vehicle automatically rev up. Then routing in process. Yeah, I'm going to leave it until the routing process end. Right, process completed you can see all warning light disappeared at blue sign disappeared no countdown mileage now i'm going back yes okay okay right uh, diagnostic i'm going to the perjo and check any faulty code left there high speed scan right I got the faulty code report nothing there you can see the under engine management nothing I'm going to check again any faulty code left there bingo no any faulty codes no any warning light at the dashboard even no any warning light this side all nice and clear I'm going to switch off and I'm going to start the car oh warning light came <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Anyway, I am happy. I'm going to hand over to car like this to the customer and ask him to go for a good motorway journey because I'm not going to motorway journey because this DPF slightly on the border, but I'm not too much fast to clear that one. I'll ask him to take a good motorway journey. Should be he will find. If it not, I'll clean the DPF because I want to save customer money a little bit because I can say to them easily look you need a DPF cleaning customer not going to say no but to be honest if he try he can save money otherwise if you do the job it's good for me but you know I'm not like that guy anyway thanks for watching see you in the next video